According to new research, ancient Mars may have been covered in glaciers as well as running rivers. Here is what they discovered. Scientists say several billion years old valleys on Mars may have been formed by glaciers and not flowing rivers. According to the new study in Nature Geoscience, ancient Mars was both colder and icier than prevailing theory supposes. Why does this matter? Well, the new theory makes it more likely for primitive life to exist on Mars. The team compared the Red Planet's valleys to Devon Island in the Canadian Arctic archipelago. Writing in a news release, co-author Anna Galofra says the island is one of the best analogs for Mars on Earth. In this image provided by the research team, Mars's Malmi Valley's top is juxtaposed to the channels of Devon Island on the bottom. The scientists' algorithms indicate that ancient glaciers produced channelized meltwater that cut valleys into the surface of Mars about 3.8 billion years ago. This process would explain the similarities between the valleys of Mars and Devon Island. This is not to say the red planet had no rivers, as NASA's Mars orbiter found what looked like big riverbeds. According to researchers, if the glaciers once existed, their ice sheets would have deflected solar radiation. This means ancient life would have had a better chance of surviving on Mars than previously thought. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter found evidence that a river system existed on Mars' Hellas Basin about 3.7 billion years ago. Here's a rundown of what they found out. A new study suggests the red planet once sported an entire river network billions of years ago. Scientists spotted evidence that a river system had existed in the Hellas crater on Mars 3.7 billion years ago, according to a paper published in Nature Communications. The system consisted of many rivers that were several meters deep and had been active for more than 100,000 years. This suggests Mars used to have a more clement climate system that could sustain large bodies of water on its surface. Using data gathered by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, scientists surveyed the Hellas Basin and discovered signs on a 200-meter tall cliff that suggest the region used to support a river system. Writing in a news release, the team says the extremely high-resolution image from the orbiter's camera allowed them to read the cliff face and see sedimentary rocks that one would find on riverbanks. According to the researchers, these ancient rivers probably changed their gullies and left behind sandbanks like certain rivers on Earth, such as the Rhine in Germany and rivers in northern Italy. Co-author and Utrecht University postdoc Francesco Celeste says the discovery shows Mars likely had a rain-driven hydrological cycle, which will help the search for ancient life on Mars. Right now, a spacecraft is carrying NASA's Perseverance rover to search for life on Mars. Here is what we know. If all goes well, NASA's spiffy new rover will make landfall on Mars next year. Why another rover, you ask? Because this one is equipped to look directly for evidence of life on Mars. Previous rovers only looked for signs that Mars may once have been habitable. NASA successfully launched the 2020 Perseverance mission from Florida's Canaveral Air Force Station at 7.50 a.m. on July 29th. This spacecraft is carrying an orbiter, a rover, and a drone helicopter. According to NASA, the Perseverance mission will land on the Red Planet on February 18, 2021. Space.com reports the spacecraft was put on safe mode after launch because it flew into the Earth's shadow, which led to unexpected low temperatures. However, the agency said the situation is not concerning and added, the spacecraft is happy there. The spacecraft will deploy the Perseverance rover and the Ingenuity helicopter. The vehicles are to explore the Jezero crater, which was once a lake bed on Mars. The Perseverance rover's design is based on the Curiosity rover, which was launched in 2011. The Perseverance includes includes a cross-country suspension system, a plutonium power source that charges the rover's batteries, a mast with cameras and sensors, an antenna that communicates directly with Earth, and a robotic arm. The arm will use a drill to bore into the ground. The arm's X-ray and ultraviolet spectrometers will scan the soil for amino acids and fatty acids, which would imply the presence of life forms that may have existed on Mars. NASA will need a lot of logistical backup to run its planned missions on the Moon and Mars. The support will be provided by the proposed Lunar Gateway Station. The U.S. has awarded the contract to design the habitation module on NASA's Gateway Station. NASA plans to support its long-term exploration of the Moon and Mars from Gateway, a modular space station orbiting the Moon. According to the space agency, it has selected Northrop Grumman to design Gateway's habitation and logistics outpost known as HALO. Gateway is a modular design. 
Its power and propulsion element, or PPE, will have a 60 kilowatt solar electric propulsion system. The PPE contract has been awarded to Maxar Technologies. The two modules will be launched together in 2023. NASA's Orion spacecraft will be able to dock at Gateway and utilize the station as a base of operations, where the HALO habitation module will enhance the craft's life support systems. According to the agency, HALO will be based on Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft. Astronauts visiting the station will spend most of their time within HALO's pressurized living quarters, which will be about the size of a small studio apartment. The Northrop Grumman Cygnus is a class of expendable cargo craft that has supplied the International Space Station since the space shuttle's retirement. NASA says the HALO contract means Gateway has passed a major checkpoint to systems reliability and viability. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.